them ratings and see how bad they're going to look. And they're going to be like, they have no power. None. People don't understand that analytics. Hey, y'all. It's your girl, Millie Chine. And I'm back with some Love and Marriage Huntsville data analytics. It feels a little different today because who cares? <laughs> but we're here and we're talking about it. So this past week, the season finale was at 313,000. It was up 10,000 from last week. Last week, they had 303,000. Now, is that a lot? It's 10,000 more than last week, but not for real. But what I'm more interested in is to see what the ratings are like after the first part reunion. Because after Mel's announcement, I'm, I'm sure it's going to be less. Significantly. Then you have Tisha out here. I know she knows what has happened. So I guess we're going to see more of her now. So she's modeling her clothing. And I don't know what this is with these holes in her outfits. Because, you know, she had a white outfit like this on in the finale. So is this what, this is where you're going? She says she feels like she's in Detroit because of her fur. You're going to step your game up, sis. Is, <laughs> you got a lot of ground to cover. You and the T-Squad. And just kind of going down memory lane, right? This is stuff that we won't miss. Because now, even though we knew it was childish before, it looks even more childish now. Like, this is stupid. You understand what I'm saying? Martell, leave these people alone. Leave their marriage alone. Just because you didn't work out don't mean you've got to mess anybody else's up. Speaking of that, then the little roach monster made a couple of you know, post on her stories, right? When them tables turn, don't lose your appetite. Eat that like I had to. Girl, are you trying to put yourself in the same lane as Mel? Are you serious right now? You, Mel got her, Mel even got her pickup letter and she said, no, thank you. You have signed a consent form and you still can't be on the show. And just because Mel is leaving does not mean that you're going to come on the show. And I guarantee if you do, it's not going to be what you think. Because ain't nobody going to be here for that. You're going to have to eat that. And then I saw this photo, right? Tisha Marceau, Martel, the Fletchers, Kimmy, Maurice, Destiny, Trish. This is Love and Marriage Huntsville. This is your show. Now, honestly, no one in this show makes me want to watch and i'm just being honest i don't care what marceau and tisha is doing like we don't know anything about their life at all we just know that he's rude and she's passive um neil and chris they don't give me anything that i want to see neil is has shown to me that she's not a good friend so i don't really trust to watch her chris him and Martell are one and the same. So absolutely not. Maurice and Kimmy are absolutely bland. So nobody wants to see them. Destiny has proven to be a liar, a hater, a stalker, and probably someone who could be a thief in the night. And you know what I'm talking about. And Trish, no, no, absolutely not. Shout out to the Money Making Melody fan page um, on Instagram. So, posted an article by Essence, right? Melody Cherie bids farewell to Love and Marriage Huntsville. And honestly, she deserves this piece. Everybody across the board feels like this. Everyone. The article reads really well, and this last piece of the article talks about how Melody had us hooked with her storyline, and um, she's a serial entrepreneur, and what does this mean for the show? And they said, one thing for sure, Melody Cherie is walking away from the storm and into her soft life era, and we love this for her. Absolutely. Leave that tsunami back there. It's going to take care of itself. Now, this can be found on Melody's page. And she is elated. And I'm glad to see this after, you know, after the news had come out, after the live, after everybody has made posts. I'm glad to see this for her. Um, she says she slept like a baby, woke up to this beautiful view. God is so amazing. Happy Friday, my beauties. She 
uh, pinned something to her mother, thanking her for her patience. She pinned something to her babies, basically thanking them for their patience and their strength because they have been mentioned in all this craziness too. And she pinned something to the millimeters and she said, we are free, right? So it's only up for here. It's only up from here for Mel. And I'm really happy for her once again. So y'all, let's talk about it. It's your girl, Millie Chun. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.